Well, hey there, my friends, Abby from Abby Kirsten Collections here. And today I am going to share with you another Cricut Design Space Fundamentals lesson. So what we're going to do here is we're going to be talking about how to put a shape on your canvas and how to size it exactly as you wish. So I had a question about resizing um, specifically um, rectangles. And I'm gonna show you real quick how to do that. So your shapes tool over here in Design Space, you can click on that at any time. And a sub panel is gonna appear. And there's free shapes here you can use. You don't have to be part of Cricut Access for that. And I'm just gonna grab the square here. And here we have a two by two square. It might come in at a different size, but that doesn't really matter because right up here at the top edit bar, we have our size, our width and our height. And it tells us it's two by two inches, just like it says right here. So there's two ways to scale in Design Space. You can come to any one of these corners and you can click and hold and drag and you'll see the size change there. You can also put your cursor right into the width and the height here of our um, top edit bar. So let's say, for example, we want to create a very specific size. Let's say we want to do like a five by seven card. We could put in the um, the width as five. But if we hit enter, notice that it adjusts the entire square to five by five, not five by seven. Now, if we need to stretch and change the proportions of our shapes, we need to click this little unlock icon that is sitting right between the width and the height here. So just go ahead and click on that and it's going to change from locked to unlock. So I'll show you that again, locked and unlocked. You want it unlocked if you need to change the proportions. So we have our width set to five inches, but we want it to be seven inches high. So I'm gonna put my cursor in here and I'm just gonna change that now to seven. And since we unlocked it, it's now gonna hold it at that five width and it's going to stretch it to be seven inches high. And you can apply this to all of your shapes as well. So if you wanted to do this with a circle, perhaps you were aiming to have a specific oval size, you could unlock this and maybe you wanna change this one over here to three inches, not 23, three inches. And now we have an oval shape, just like that. Once you're satisfied with your sizing, make sure you relock that little lock icon just to make sure you don't accidentally stretch and mess up your work there. And then of course, like always, make sure you save your projects and you give it a name. I'm just gonna call this one Shapes 101 and we're going to click save. All right, and that's it for this lesson on basic uh, design space fundamentals. If you have more questions about using shapes, scaling, or that lock icon, let me know below in the comments and I'll be happy to help you.